Hi everyone, it's me Leslie here with another video. Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for subscribing. Today I'm doing a story time discussion to talk a little bit about my new book, If I Were a Billionaire. And it was written and illustrated by yours truly, Leslie Marie Fatland. So I started writing this book in December of 2021 after I finished my other book. Uh, but I started to procrastinate and that's why it's taken me so long to finish this book. So sometimes when we are passionate about something and we spend a lot of time, energy and care into that thing that we're passionate about and sometimes it feels like it, it's not seen by anybody or acknowledged by anyone. It can be, it can come to a point where you want to, want to stop. And it takes personal motivation to keep going. And that's the case with my children's positive character books. This is my 11th book. Um, but because I'm passionate about the message in every book, I write them anyway. I don't get much attention at all. Um, I'm the author, illustrator, I'm self-published, but my passion is talking about good moral character. And I'm very passionate about trying to help uh, young children and others be more aware of their character. So this new positive character book that I wrote is all about um, two brothers who talk about what they would do if they were billionaires. And on the front, you can see um, one brother sliding down a big pile of money, but on the other side, it's the same child on the street asking for help. And as you can see here, I have a quote that I, I wrote. It was, divinely inspired and once it came to my mind I wrote it down for this book and I'd like to read it to you all. So the quote is, sometimes we are the helpers, sometimes we are the helped. May we have the strength and compassion to help lift up another in their time of need. May another have the strength and compassion to help lift us up in our time of need. I primarily wrote this book because it's so important for all of us to remember that if we have a lot, we are morally obligated to give. One brother talks about how he would buy all the video games that he enjoys and a big house. And the other brother talks about how he, he'd have fun with the money initially but he has bigger ambitions and he really wants to help the less fortunate and he would begin helping by starting a construction company that would build homes for the homeless and it's an elementary school aged book but the message is clear it's important to have compassion for our fellow human. And um, here's one of the pages. There, there are no words, but it's self-explanatory. When you can give help, give it. If you need help, hopefully somebody will return that kindness. So to wrap up this video, if, if you're passionate about something and you're not getting any recognition or the recognition you believe you deserve for the work you're doing, if it's something that you really love and you're passionate, passionate about it, just do it anyway. 
I would have stopped writing children's books a long time ago if I was doing it for the attention. But if these books can help just one person, it's enough for me. And writing these books also heals me. These books, my positive character books, they're a reminder to myself that I need to be a better human being. And so while I write the books, not only am I healing myself, hopefully there'll be someone out there who gets a message of healing that they need. And this book uh, can be found on Amazon.com. It's a great message for, for all, but it's geared towards elementary aged kids. And that's where I'll end this video today. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye.